So, Pokemon Company had their own little mini direct today, which I didn't watch live because I've had an on and off again relationship with Pokemon series for a while now. So I'm at the beginning, then I jumped off at Diamond and Pearl. I got back on for X and Y, and then I ran away at Sword and Shield. Anyway, so I was shocked and happy to hear that we got a new Pokemon Snap game! Fucking finally! It's been 20 years! Wait. Oh my god, it's been 20 years. It's been 20 years since we find when we first got the first Pokemon Snap game. And it, it was amazing! And it was so cute seeing all the Pokemon out and about and eating and fighting and evolving. Just being alive! We didn't even have all the Pokemon at the time. I think the max was 64? But regardless, now with the, with the power of the Switch, we might be able to get every single one on there. Before I continue talking about how excited I am for Pokemon Snap, Cute. Let's go over everything else that was in the Pokemon Mini Direct, I guess. There's a brushing game for kids, which is, that's cool, that's cool for them. And then there's a cafe mobile game that I will never touch, because fuck mobile games. And then they announced the Sword and Shield DLC Part 1! Yay! It's it's so cool to see, man. Oh, I'm so excited. You can tell by my voice. Anyway, surprisingly, they did say they had something else they wanted to talk about, but they weren't going to talk about it till next week, which is weird. Why not talk about it now? They probably want to go more in depth with it. Personally, if I had to guess, I think it's going to be a remake of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. It's been a while since we had a, lot, a remake of an older game, the last one being Omega Ruby and Apple Sapphire, which came out in 2014. Holy fuck, it came out in 2014. It feels so long ago. Anyway. So I feel like we're due for one. I don't think they're going to call, talk about a new gen Pokemon game since they haven't even released the second part of the Sword and Shield DLC. And who knows, there might be even more DLC for Sword and Shield along the way. If it's not a remake, I could see it being something spin-off related. Maybe a Coliseum game. But I think it's more likely it's going to be a remake of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Now on to the good shit, which is the only shit I care about. Pokemon New Pokemon Snap. It's not called Pokemon Snap 2, it's New Pokemon Snap. Which is a little weird for a name. I mean, Pokemon Snap 2 makes it feel like a sequel. New Pokemon Snap makes it feel like it's a remake. But in the trailer, we see a bunch of Pokemon, some I don't know. But I do see Purina, I know that one. Everything feels so alive. You see Pokemon like going around and eating all the little apples. Like Blastoise just picks up its hand and that weird fucking clam thing just sticks out its tongue and just pulls it. It's great. Really see the personality of the Pokemon. You see a Pidgeotto? Pidgeotto just fucking wreck the magic card. It's great! The Pokemon feel alive and they're just not in their stupid fucking idle stance. They're moving and they're living and some of them are protecting smaller Pokemon from dead Pokemon. It's great! I just really like seeing the Pokemon alive. These are creatures and characters that I've cared about since my childhood. So to see them really living in their environment is great and the Pokemon Snap gameplay is incredibly fun it's simple but fun you're just taking pictures who doesn't like taking pictures Luna okay personally I would actually be okay if the gameplay was the same minor tweaks to make it more improved like better movement but I would be fine with just the pokey flute the gas and the apple I mean they could add new stuff which would be great 
Like maybe you throw a Mega Evolution Stone Ear Pokemon it'll Mega Evolve or something. So you get the Mega Evolution pictures. Honestly, there's a lot of new stuff that they could add to make the Pokemon more alive. Maybe you can get them aggravated so that they fight each other. So you can get cool battle poses. I don't know. Honestly, I'm just fine. I'm just fine with happiness. I would honestly have been fine with just putting Pokemon Sack on Switch. It seems like the easiest thing to do to make money, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm just really stoked and surprised that we're getting a sequel. I honestly didn't think we were gonna get one at all, but I'm wrong. I'm fucking happy to be wrong. So overall, despite the presentation only having one thing I care about, fucking good job, Pokemon Company, for giving me the one thing I wanted. I'm sure everyone else got stuff that they wanted. I mean, I don't think the two person thing, I don't think anyone gives a shit about that. But I'm sure the Sword and Shield players are gonna like the DLC, and people like me are just gushing over the fact that we have Pokemon Snap 2, which it's not called that, it's called New Pokemon Snap. I will get it right. And I'm sure there's a lot of other Pokemon fans that are speculating on what could possibly be announced next week, but I don't really care about that. I just... I really needed something to look forward to. Something happy and exciting, considering that this year is just a clusterfuck of shit.